What is going up guys? Welcome back to the best day trading, investing, money management channel on YouTube. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you to go down and smash that like button. Do it, smash it hard. But in today's episode, we're going to be talking about gold versus Bitcoin. What is the better investment and Really, what is more consistent and where's the future holding for each of these? Now, before we get started, we really need to learn what gold is and what Bitcoin is. Now, I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you guys know what gold is or the atomic number of 79 on the element scale. Now, gold is a highly sought, af sought after uh, material. It's found in clothes, it's found in jewelry. Um, not so much clothes, but currency. It's found in everything. People use it all the time. In some countries, they use it to buy. Back in the old days, they uh, made coins on them, and those are highly sought after coins. Now, what is Bitcoin? Now, Bitcoin is something that is very new it's kind of confusing or is it so really bitcoin is just a peer-to-peer -peer, um virtual currency that's stored with these uh currency wallets i guess i'm trying to look at these and really it's pretty simple it's just these computer wallets storing bitcoin and really what determines the price of bitcoin is what somebody else is going to pay for it so it's really a you know supply and demand it's very heavy on that and the same thing with gold but not as much it's a little more regulated so the first use of gold was in 600 bc they actually used to use gold as coins and they used it for currency now these coins are actually very 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 valuable now if you guys find them most of the time they're damaged or you know they're lost or whatnot so the first use of bitcoin was actually all the way back in 2009 when the founder actually purchased its very first couple of bitcoins for literally pennies and now we all know the price all the way went up to you know 1900 dollars uh roughly two years ago so now we've had this kind of consolidation mark meaning that the price of bitcoin isn't really going up too much and it's really not going down too much it's kind of fluctuating in this little you know that nebulous that consolidation zone and a lot of people are kind of worried well is it gonna fall is it gonna you know is it gonna go crazy um, what's gonna happen with it but how can you even get it so there's really two ways that you guys can get Bitcoin and real gold now the first way you guys can get it is by actually just purchasing it now you can go to like coinbase or Robinhood and most of these programs or most of these uh, brokers, I guess you'd call them, these cryptocurrency exchanges, you can just purchase with your own money. So let's say I want to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. You spend $10 on your Bitcoin and you get 0 .0001, you know, Bitcoin. Or you can do something called mining. Mining, you use, uh, you know, computers and you use complex algorithms to make these Bitcoins and it's a pretty cool way for you guys to make some extra money i'm not really sure i've done it and i made like point oh i was i made like 30 cents to put that in perspective but how can you guys get gold we all know gold i'm just kind of comparing these two gold is something that's literally dug up and you know it's mined mined in a different way not mined on a computer mined actually harvesting from earth's you know earth's rocks <laughs> i don't know so what is the scarcity or how many are out there so now there's roughly 21 trillion bitcoins that are available to buy and they say they're gonna cancel that or something i've heard through the grapevine about you know they want to add more bitcoin into um into the market but i think that's a bunch of bs guys so the scarcity of gold is 170,000 tons that's the estimation for it so it's a significant significant amount of money determining the price here the price is actually pretty expensive what's the price of Bitcoin 
one Bitcoin is worth $10,380, up 2.2% over the last 24 hours. Alexa, what's the price of gold per ounce? As of August 23, 2019 at 5 p.m., gold traded at $1,526.10 per troy ounce on the foreign exchange. So, as you guys can see, uh, there's a very big difference between something that's virtual and something that is, you know, something that is literally just online. So, we're going to be talking about the investment side of this. Now, my personal and kind of unbiased, even though I've made a significant amount of money off Bitcoin because I purchased this, I purchased Bitcoin at, you know, $7,000 and I wrote it all the way up and I sold out at uh, 18.5. So I did honestly very good. I doubled my money and then some in like a month and a half. And I made, you know, $1,200 or $1,500 off it. So, you know, I did make some money off it. But right now, what would I invest in? So gold, one thing, has always been around. It's always been around and it's honestly not going anywhere. So it's something that's a little more reliable, I would say and less risky now bitcoin we all know made that run from literally you know that 5000 mark all the way to 19.5 in literally two or three months so i would consider bitcoin a more riskier investment and what tends to happen in these market declines is people always try to fall back to gold and silver so as the market goes down my god i'm so tired guys as the market goes down the consumers and the economy always fall back to gold and less on more risky investments which cause those to decline but uh yeah so my personal opinion is i would buy gold um over bitcoin and you know I, i'm excited to see where they go you know i do hold you know a couple hundred dollars worth of bitcoin just because and i do hold two grams of gold which is like 120 dollars um so it's really kind of cool about that I'm excited guys, I'm excited to see where everything goes for my investments. If you guys enjoyed these type of videos, please sure to drop a subscribe on the channel. It is greatly appreciated. You guys don't get it. We're almost at 1,000 subs and we're going to be doing massive giveaways at 1,000 subscribers. Also, if you guys want to get my free uh, stock market watch list, each week I send them out every Sunday. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, if you guys have any questions or any concerns about these videos, please share to leave a comment, leave a like, do it all guys. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Take care.